now we'll move on to the topic one uh, that is nature and the uh, importance of discipline we need to you know first understand that what is this discipline is all about the employee also should be in a position to understand and both the employers also has to understand so both the people has to you know probably arrive at a kind of an you know understanding and based on that you know in order to bring about the best productivity and an output maintaining a discipline is prerequisites so that's the way if you look into it how are we going to you know probably enforce and uh, what is the kind of a nature of discipline we are talking about so if you look at actually you know first uh, let us see the meaning of a discipline it's so the word meaning you know discipline is uh, derived from a latin uh, uh, you know a latin word called uh, disciplina that means it is nothing but teaching learning and uh, growing that's what exact the meaning of it and uh, there's a you know author called megginson's offer three distinct meaning of the word discipline one is self discipline he is talking about that's the best way of you know probably maintaining it because every employee and human being knows his value systems and uh, they know exactly you know what is right and wrong so if they maintain as a discipline on their own so that's the highest level of an another discipline we can call it as the second kind of a thing is like you know in the workplace how do we maintain a condition and orderly kind of a behavior we try to you know probably mold among the employees that's again you know probably we can call it as a discipline and otherwise you know it's a kind of an act of a training and a punishing method that will give you enforce certain kind of a discipline part of it so these are the ways actually you know we can look at it uh, the third part you know the act of training and punishing training is okay but punishing is you know it's a very very sore kind of an you know end result so ultimately you know we should uh, avoid such kind of a method more of an you know let's say like your process and system itself we try to you know probably bring about uh, enforcing a discipline now let's try to look at the definition of a discipline discipline is an orderly conduct of affair by the members of an organization who adhere to the necessary regulations because they decide to cooperate harmoniously in forwarding the end which the group has the view and willingness to uh willingly you know recognize uh, that to do this and uh, their wishes must be brought in a reasonable unison with the requirement on a group in action so quite longer uh, kind of a definitions that's the that's reason i just read it out so it's basically you know what they are talking about is like uh, what are the kind of you know in a workplace what are the kind of necessary regulations has to be followed so, uh, that necessary regulation should be you know uh, desirable for both employees as well as an employer and by maintaining that orderly kind of this thing they maintain a harmonious kind of a relationship and ultimately end result is you know they willing willingly both the parties try to do that that means both employer and employee does that and this wishes must actually you know bring in a uh, unified kind of you know requirement of the group in action so that what employer want best productivity what employee want best kind of you know work conditions if both the things has to be you know met and accordingly it has to be done and other way of you know explaining or defining the discipline is the process of training a worker so that he can develop a self control and become more effective in his work so ultimately our idea is to you know bring about the best kind of a productivity and effectiveness uh, in the form of you know uh, let's say discipline so when we talk about effectiveness and uh, efficiency it's all about you know on time without procrastinating without delaying the process we should complete the task and ultimately you know with the lesser lesser kind of you know cost and uh, lesser kind of you know let's say quality defects so these are the ways actually you know we need to work out uh, you know very effectively the discipline part of it ultimately discipline is is a form of you know how we bring about the best kind of you know results now let's try to look at the objectives of the dis discipline uh, there are then different kind of an objectives are there the basic objective is to obtain a willingness acceptance of the uh, result willing acceptance of the rules regulations and procedures of an organization so that organization goals can be reached in a more effective manner the second kind of a thing is to impart an element you know uh, element of certainty so that you know we'll come to know that what in what action will happen first and what is the kind of an action will happen next and uh, we'll also you know in a position to understand the predictability aspect of the employee behavior as well as an employer so that's why actually you know dis despite several differences of informal behavior pattern and other related changes in organization we should impart a kind of you know right kind of an uh, certainty method and the third kind of a thing is to develop among the employees a spirit of tolerance and uh, desire to make an adjustment so when we talk about develop among the employees a spirit of tolerance it's all about how we try to you know bring about the tolerance factor and uh, you know how we try to adjust it 
and uh, you know we make an adjustment so that you know the compromise happens and ultimately you know the organization goal can be achieved and other thing is to give and seek uh, directions and uh, responsibility so what kind of a directions and uh, what is the kind of a responsibilities we can able to seek it and uh, we can able to you know implement it very effectively and ultimately you know by in enforcing a discipline we can bring about a kind of an you know atmosphere uh, it will be both the respect for the human personality and the human relations and ultimately you know the other objective of a discipline could be to increase the worker uh, working efficiency and moral of the employees so that the productivity is uh, stepped up of the cost of production uh, you know improved so whereby you know what happens is like by reducing the cost we can able to do best kind of you know efficiency and moral of the employee we can able to you know uh, achieve through this particular thing now let's try to look at what is the kind of a types of discipline is there uh, in general th there are two types of a discipline one is first one is a self controlled discipline self controlled discipline i hope it's a very self explanatory thing uh, you know common sense topic it's nothing but you know you try to bring about the controlled discipline in the employee and uh, it basically you know brings her or his behavior in the agreement with the organizational official behavioral code using and you know common your hr policies you can enforce this kind of a thing so we don't need to say or communicate anything to the employee precisely or probably explicitly about what you're supposed to do so we can always you know enforce a kind of an you know self discipline that's the highest order of a discipline and uh, if every employee started following our you know uh, adhere to this self controlled discipline the dispute won't arise at all the second kind of you know uh, discipline could be your enforced discipline when we talk about enforced discipline the organization try to bring in certain kind of uh, you know restrictions and rules and regulations and do's and don'ts and through that you know they try to enforce the employee has to you know comply with that particular organization rules and regulations so where there could be a disagreement can happen so uh, actually you know the enforced discipline always you know you make it as a democratic kind of a method so that both the employee also accept it and the employer also you know try to follow it so this is a way actually you know we can look into it and uh, let's look at uh, you know in discipline aspect of it quite opposite to your discipline is your in discipline so in discipline means disorderliness or insubordination or not following the rules and regulation of an organization so when we talk about indiscipline uh, disorderliness in the sense they don't follow any kind of an orderly fashion and they don't follow any of the boss uh, you know command or probably boss uh, uh, suggestions they don't take it and that's called as your insubordinations so you know they may not adhere to any of the rules and regulations of the organization so some of the symptoms of an indiscipline or uh, the normal behavior will be completely changed they will behave very abnormally so that could be one of the kind of you know indiscipline and other one is absenteeism frequently they take leave so that could be another kind of reasons and uh, they go apathy way and uh, you know they give more importance for uh, you know their own personal uh, reasons and go very slow at work and uh, increase in number and uh, severity of the grievances and persistent and continuous demand for overtime allowances and uh, lack of concern for a performance their only botheration will be you know just spend a time in the organization so then let's look at what is the causes of indiscipline uh, if you don't place a right kind of a person at the right kind of a job then uh, indiscipline can uh, occur uh, that means you know obviously the the right kind of a person is not there in the right position that means he is not fit for this job so naturally you know the indiscipline will happen because he may not be able to perform his duties very well second thing is undesirable behavior of senior officials senior officials you know try to behave very radically try to treat them very badly so because of that you know uh, the indiscipline happens and uh, faulty evaluation of a persons and situations uh, by you know executives lead of uh, favoritism uh, you know by showing an you know favoritism and the faulty kind of you know evaluation about a person so that their indiscipline can act occur and lack of upward communication when the communication is not happening from top to you know sorry bottom to top uh, there uh, you know they because of the lack of communication also this indiscipline happens and leadership which is very very weak flexible or incomplete and distrustful so when the leader is not that efficient so then also you know Uh, indiscipline can occur and uh, workers personal problem uh, it could be their family related issues or it could be the fear or apprehensions and hopes 
and aspiration and lack of confidence in uh, other ability to you know adjust with their superiors and equal so there uh, again you know discipline can occur and workers uh, reaction to rigidity and uh, you know multiplicity of rules and their improper uh, interpretation so because of that you know the the indiscipline can occur and intolerably mad, bad kind of a working condition so there also you know uh, indiscipline can occur so because of these reasons you know indiscipline can normally occur in the organization